Yo, what is up YouTube? It's me, Dark, back with another episode of Doki Doki Literary Club. We're just going back in where we left off. I can't remember where we left off, but let's see what's going to happen. Let's go straight into it. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to stop these all last. Alright. Oh. <clears throat> okay, everyone. After some time passes... Oh, wait. After some time, Monica calls out for a classroom. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everyone, everything's back to normal. As soon as we choose our poems, I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Cyrus. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Going with the same order every time. Hi, Dark. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well... Being in the club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. I have to give it some thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll, it'll turn out great. I would also make me happy to see. Uh huh. Anyway, let's take a look at your poem, at uh, today's poem. Sure. I love when we take a poem and hold it in our hands. It's pretty good. It makes me think of Sarah, like the other one we wrote. You two are like dynamic duo. Huh. It's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Then again, I bl I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm 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 not shy, it's just uh -huh. I'm just teasing. I know it makes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But you and that are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. <coughs> And you can talk to me every now and then too. I'm not like unapproachable or anything, am I? Uh, no, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. Anyway. I'll share my phone with you right now. Alright? Uh, alright. I love these poems. The lady who knows everything. An old te an old tale tells tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer or meaning or purpose. After all that, wait, and and all that was ever thought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the current of the winds. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist, and all others have turned away. The legends is the legend is all that matters. The last dim, star glimmering in the twilight, the night. That's just a night. The what sky? Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather. A dry quill, expressionless. Her hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end of her, no end to her gaze. The lady knows everything, knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow, hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. Wow. That was deep. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answer answers are sort of the things that give life meaning. Not to get philosophical <laughs> or anything, but it was kind of on my mind. So that's why I wrote about, I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost a paradoxical. Because if we all had the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, that's one thing I know. There's one thing I know. It's, it seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone else. You mean one-dimensional? 
What? Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's my like a random tip for the day. I swear, if you break the force wall again, I'm, I'm just gonna. Boy. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get lukewarm response to something you put so much into. If you find other people who really enjoy enjoy writing, and sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way. I will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Let's go Siren next. Is she still sad? This is the best one so far. It's really nice. It's really, really nice, Dark. Uh, thanks. Mm hmm? Siren, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Everything's fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, Dark. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought you were trying writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah? I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else. Wait. Of course I do. The music changed. Um, but that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you, Zemo Syrah. I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. And this is how my poems come out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only one excite only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sire? No. Oh. Don't cry. I thought stop. No. Dark. Stop. to me. Why are you doing this? Sarah has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. Oh my god, no. If we had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sarah? <clears throat> Nobody has noticed this. Sarah? I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. She sniffs and keeps shakes her head. Finally she gathers up and puts on a smile. It's nothing dark. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smile for him everyone, okay? That's <laughs> all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home and go to bed this way. Sarah. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. She has a reaction if she walks out of the classroom humming to herself. I don't, I don't, I want to go home. I want to go to now. No, don't do this. <sighs> Just kill yourself. Ah, did I hear try something different today? I guess so. Is that good or bad? No, neither. I have my preferences, but it wouldn't be unfair of me to call someone something good or bad based on that. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Oh, wait, that. Well, you're always sophisticated with all your writing. Most, most advice to share. Is that- oh, it's just not me. Is that so? Yuri sinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. 
I would like to grow with me. Yuri? It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. Sorry about that. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I was overthinking and come to these sort of conclusions. Why can't I be a voice right today? And the Cyrus voice is so easy. I'm, I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being just like that. Well, okay. You really? What, what am I saying? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. This messy handwriting, man. I can't take this messy handwriting. It makes the crumbles and Cyrus crying. A marvel. A marvel. A a a a a a it's called Beach. I thought it's called Bleach. That would have made more sense. A marveled millions of years in the walking when the room of Earth's Kawaii shall we? meets the surface under a clean blue sky an expanse of bliss but a bernus gay nulling clouds endless en enigma the easiest to would get to get lost in is what where everything can be found one can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet but where the sand is wet the tide comes will it come gently lick at you foundation Get your foundations until you give in, or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. But we still build sand castles. I stand where I, where the foam wraps around my ankles, when when my toes squish into the sand. It's not here, and it's uh, it's um, The breeze is the breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foaming tendrils. Turn back, I abandon my peace to an the shade. Drift forward, and I return to Earth. I couldn't read hardly any of that. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an insane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach at it. It sounds like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Max and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Max said he wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles, or through process. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wanted something like that. She probably wants to show off. It's not like I have a particularly interest in her writing style. I just want to do a request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasions. It can be refreshing, you know? I'm trying to keep a voice, and I just stop breezing while I say it. I'm going to have to take a breath, and then I change voice again. Yuri's voice is so hard to do. It, it's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Okay, not to be. Her voice is so easy, thank you. This one's alright, right? Well, yeah, about as good as yesterday's anyway. I think what you're going for, but I see what you're going for, but it's not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad you're trying a little bit. Well, of course, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? N no, bros. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you... Oh, did I just do that? That's, um... 
It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. I can't do that, can I? No. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. That's the only connection to my stomach. Oof. Oh. Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was <laughs> just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really watch my mouth around that to be. Anyway, as she holds her poem up to me like nothing ever happened. I'll be your beach. <laughs> your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place. I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sprinkles with brilliant light. The balls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought in in a way you thought had left you a long ago. Let's bury your let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecure insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in a windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about every day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you saw had left you long ago. But if you let if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. That's decent. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, Yuri's takes on it was a little solemn. Well, Yuri's take on it was a little solemn. Well, that's... Jeez, she's better... She's been allowed to say anything bad about me, mind. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh, you can really see her doing that too, making us write about the same topics and trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. It's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too, but there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems. Why don't we figure out? Hold on a sec. Is it just me, or s did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. What was that? I'm sorry. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't, I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is in, immune to it. Stage, st 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 stage knitting air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe? Look, the only difference is that Syrah isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. <sighs> Syrah always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone, everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just, she, I, she went just, she, I thought she just went to pee. Not to be, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well when I went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to not go home with her, you picked the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sarah. Friendship. Air quotes. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Hmm. That 
curious expression coming from you of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the rest of operations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. That's the we're making cupcakes. But we need a lot of them and different flavours. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And f for myself, I'm going to put, be printing all the poetry pamphlets. Saira will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Guys? Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... Useless. <laughs> no, no! That's not it at all. He's the most talented person here, you know? <laughs> n n now, now, <laughs> she's talking to me. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sarah enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder. Oh, no, she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. If I can't also be a leader of my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? No, <laughs> no, she does not. You should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. A atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. <laughs> His expression suddenly changes and she stares at her desk. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wonderful help, Yuri. But, anyway. That leaves you, Doc. Me? It's the one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, those nuts again Yuri has some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would, probably, it would probably go a long way to give you a, one of them a hand. You could also help me out as well. I would really appreciate that. Ah, oh, that's... Weekend with one of my uh, club members? How oh, nice is that? I got a response to a suggestion like that. Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's something damn dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica could give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting in your butt anyway. It's a mumble of a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would be able to handle the baking on your own. Dark may not like to be around if the only thing you're making them do is a nuisance. So therefore, you may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? <laughs> Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Dark to. But what are you saying? It will be extremely motivational work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think Dark to decide who you help, what to help, what to help. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Oi, so I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said. I'm surprised as well. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Dark, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Sayori? Sayori? Oh, Monica? Why'd you have to Sayori on this? This, this would be so much easier, but you had to add Saira in the list. But Saira doesn't want to be near me, I don't want to force it to her. So it's Monica. Which I save? Oh, I'm going to save at this. I'm going to save at another slot. Just for this, okay? Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Hey, you picked me! Hold on one second. Yeah, Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Uh, but, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already more, more suitable for one person, but you already have Saira help as well. But Dark was the one who... Uh, that doesn't matter. You were the only one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You, you're the club president, Monica. Oh, I should have stopped pressing that. You're supposed to make a responsible decision for the club. 
Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motive interfere with decision. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you're, you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me! Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made in such a big deal in the first place. It's completely false. <laughs> I love this game. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. We want to do, a, do as good of a job. Oh, and maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we are our events to succeed, then we need an appropriate distribution of resources. Um, uh, so who are you going to be like, think about it? Okay, okay, I get it. I think it's logical for Dark to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. <laughs> I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer help with Sayaka. I mean, we're already neighbor around. But Monica said, Monica said that Saira was helping her. Jeez, do you really hate us that much? N no, sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Well, I'm choosing not to get them. Well, bacon sounds like fun, it could be. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it's completely probably up to these two people. Don't worry, bacon is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Yeah. Just a minute ago, you were saying that. That's because. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway. You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Uh, of course. I'm used to it, after, after all. <clears throat> mm. That's good. The way Yuri is being mel melodramatic, dramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, that's it, that's it. Are you guys excited? No. I wanted to work with Monica. <sighs> Everything except the performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Doc? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. <laughs> I think it starts pounding too. It's not, I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean. Uh, see, so glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look. Yuri, you're really the most talented one here, and and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cups here will probably help a lot too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. That's really important for, for the way that people feel during the performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little credit. As he releases his hand, turns to face the other direction. You don't, you don't really mean that, did you? Um... Not really, but Yuri is not so rest. Monica and also take also taken aback by Natsuki was Natsuki of all people to be saying such encouraging things. By being in Tanstan, Natsuki was trying to sound like Saira. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell she tried to say something Saira would try to say. Because Saira always helps everyone smile and feels good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to have a great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more to say. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a little longer. I barely got to do any reading today. Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. And back up their things. Start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay. What was that? Um, where are you going? Uh, we're still to figure out our plans for the weekend. You literally wouldn't have gone home and I realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. Give me my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Ah, goddamn digits. Ah, goddamn digits. <laughs> Why would I do that?
She gives me a number. Okay, I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad's home. Anyway, I just need to do complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine, by me. Yeah. I'm really going to show you how much I love baking. So better look forward to it. Oh, didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front could act like like I could act like in front of everyone. That's not how I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well kind of. Just because you're not you never I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Uh never mind. She was going to my house on Sunday. You know what I prefer to do with a Saturday. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I got pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel so nervous that Saturday finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way for each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. I just go with it and have a good time. No, no, man. It's already Sunday. You know, maybe. How, how long have we been recording? 32 minutes. But maybe we should end it here. I mean. You know. Sunday, you know, baking. Baking is another episode. Um. This is my main one, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, I want to overwrite this save. Man, something bad's gonna happen with Natsuki coming over. But I would rather have Natsuki than Yuri. No, I don't like Yuri anymore. I don't know why, she's just... don't know why. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe for more. Join Discord, link's in the description. And I'll see you all in the next one. Wah.